Working at Bridger Bowl in the late 90s, I received a letter from two young boys in Africa who said they loved skiing. I replied and said, I love drums and African music. Two months later, an African djembe drum was at my door. Later that spring, Sam and Chris Ado's dream came true as they raced down PK, or Piers Nam. <laughs> at age 54, I had a midlife music crisis. The gift of a drum paid for by those young African boys inspired me to pursue music in a more meaningful way. It was time for me to realize my long-held fantasy of playing drums with Cuban street musicians. However, to be legal, I needed a better excuse than bongos to get a visa. In 2011, I booked 11 nights with Juan Tejera, whose casa was located close to downtown Santiago. I did not know that Juan was president of the National Union of Writers and Artists of Santiago, nor that he had a radio show claiming 96% of the listening audience. I said, wow. Juan said, let's go to work. A bongo playing cultural researcher from Montana intrigued Juan. He quickly introduced me to Santiago's finest painters, actors, and musicians. Every night it was a new artist, with my afternoons spent jamming with street musicians. Having the time of my life, playing the rhythms I loved, it was transformational. Music provided me insight into the daily lives of Cuban people. The fascination with life in the States flowed into challenges of daily living and stories of families fleeing on homemade rafts, attempting to float 90 miles to Florida. Many family and friends never heard from again. My music crisis met their real life crisis. To keep paying the drum forward for Montana artists, I shared my findings with our Yellowstone Country Board and helped create a cultural tourism committee in 2015. We began offering up to $50,000 annually to create and host cultural events for wide-ranging communities from Big Sky to Big Timber. During the winter of 2015, wanting to venture into songwriting, I enlisted the guidance of my friend and teacher, Jake Fleming. Inspired by Cuba, I wrote my first song, Building a Bridge. And then I asked Achilles, my new, my new Cuban friend, to add a guitar track. He agreed and asked if he should bring some friends. Born and raised in Santiago de Cuba, Achilles Jorge is a classical guitarist who grew up listening to rock and roll music blasted from the U.S. Naval Station nearby in Guantanamo Bay. With a shared vision of an intercultural music collaboration, we hatched a plan, but it had one big embargo problem. The official purpose of U.S. sanctions on Cuba are to create hardship, disenchantment, hunger, desperation among Cuban people. That's dated 1962. These devastating objectives were achieved by the mid-90s. How many more generations of crushed dreams do we want? Since 2020, nearly 5% of the population has fled to our southern border. In anticipation of improved relations back in 2015, Achilles invited six pro musicians to rec record my song. When I returned, Jake was shocked. We then hired local musicians for more tracks. Building a Bridge first aired on KGLT Radio July 20, 2015, the same day the Cuban Embassy reopened in Washington, D.C. In 2017, Jake and I traveled to Havana, met with Achilles, made a road trip in classic American taxis, gathering field recordings from random Cuban musicians, wound along our 500-mile journey between Havana and Santiago. We recorded our second song, Cuban Taxi. There's been a long-standing and powerful connection between musicians from Cuba and the USA. Thus, a strong cultural bond has formed between people of both nations through music. Our intercultural collaboration recordings draw from our respective mu musical influences. We now have over 50 musicians making Cabusa music. After finding home in Ruben Lesser's studio in Santiago, we enlisted Rainier Casamayor, a popular urban singer known as El Medico because he is a medical trained doctor. Along with Achilles, they brought an impressive ensemble of Afro-Cuban drummers, vocalists, guitarists, and more to the studio. After six years, eight trips, and hundreds of hours in Jake's studio, we released 13 songs on Caboose's Swapping Track CD in 2021, including local musicians Paige Rasmussen, Kaylee Armstrong, Mike Gillen, Rob Kohler, Eric Funk, Shane Doyle, John Roberts, Drew Fleming, Chris Kundi, John Sanders, Gordon Jokic, and more. During COVID in 2020, tourism in Cuba ground to a halt. Our government responded with increased sanctions on Cuba and denied coronavirus medical aid relief, including personal, 
pers uh, personal protection because of embargo laws. But Cuba developed some vaccines and sent their doctors delivering them around the world. While Rainier was recording this May in Santiago, thieves climbed a neighboring wall into his newly renovated home, stealing his bed, cabinet, stove, toilet doors, everything. Construction material, including wires and plumbing from the walls, desperate and hungry people, neighbors turning against neighbors. These experiences in Cuba have reminded me of all my privileges. I learned of Rainier's traumatic losses and sleepless nights home editing video taken of him those very same days, watching him entertain us all joyfully, inspiring our new song, Feeling Good. That really touched me. After COVID, more, is, more US sanctions, declining tourism, the growing sense of despair amongst Cubans is palpable. Lost hope is a heavy weight, but giving up not an option. So with focus on pop music, we decided to go and we've recorded five new songs this spring in, in Santiago and to improve our chances of success. Returning this December, we found a great contact in Havana. We now have our music plus interviews playing on 200 radio stations in Cuba. Last month, we were thrilled to learn that our song Syncopa hit number five on the radio. With two more songs ready to release, there's a renewed sense of hope. Except for me and a few for Jake, the Montana and Cuban members of Caboose have never met one another. Perhaps if, if this drone can still find a way to keep paying it forward, that could change this summer. Our Caboose band has been invited to perform on stage for the first time this July at the 44th Annual Festival of um, Del Caribe in Santiago de Cuba. Thank you.